freak just happened? Dang. Let's see who we got. We got he got Levante David, Jamar Chase, and Vaughn. Your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. He got Mike Hughes and George Kittle. Sure Half. Avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job. How did they get that? How did they get? Bro, what? I guess I could have got a uh, Mark Andrews. Von Goof. Vince Von Goof. Kick the ball right now. Here's the this game Australian over for my boy. Mitch Wisniewski to get things World going. class. And we are underway from Ford Field. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Good news is we got Alan Kamara. He breaks tackles. already like we just started jeez louise bro they start the drive on the ground Command oh yeah that's a beautiful run that's six, six yards stop near the 35 at the 34 and from the 34, here's second and four. They run it again with Camara. And his defense. Raw the Raptor is in the building. Dang. And this is why aggressive Raw the Raptor. Because they end up taking their attention to the workers. Freed up the D lineman to make the play. Eat you. Yo, Chad, who has seen uh, the, the Hunger Games prequel? It's pretty good. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That one goes for eight yards. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me... Doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. On second down, Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. This second and four. Play fake, Cousins. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first. Jamar Chase! All the way down inside the 20. Haven't watched any of those uh, uh, any of those other ones. What? You haven't seen Hunger Games? Chase the motion man right. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Camara. And he's brought down 
just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And here he'll get it down to the seven. We're scoreless after one. Bruh. Do they find food? First and what you mean? Chance for an early statement here on the road. Does who find now food? Cousins. This dude doesn't put the ball in. Oh, my God. Malik Collins forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Kamara trying the right side. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? What? How do you overthrow the ball like that? Like what I see so far out of this defense, because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks have told us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. They start on the ground here at Sanders. They'll get this to the 24 and it's second down. Two is going to change things up. I can't tell you what happens. Second down, back to Sanders. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play action, now it's two. Oh, the ball comes out Regular the meal so games. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He it sounds like... I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time uh, for the play. Uh, Lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Here's Tua. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. Into a double yes, sir. Daxton Hill picks it off. This dude dove 30 feet to catch me. Up at the 44. This dude's about to, this about to be game over for this dude. The game over. It's third and long, and it's still early in the game. In the movie, though, I swear I think I only saw them eat one time. Let's just check something down and pump the book off. An Maybe twice. First down run no, as twice. He this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially. So second and two. A tenth carry for Camara, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And quickly they get to the line. Play action now, Cousins. Throwing for Chase on the Jamar Chase. Down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings.
Vikings have the first down as well. On play action, Cousins. Oh, is right up to that point, I was about to say he's had a pretty good half catch in the Oh football. my god, what is that with these games these he days? And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. From the gun, it's a run for Camaro. Why is it lagging so much? Staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Work in the middle of the field. Let's get it, KJ Osborne. Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Set me, uh, set up by me, by the way. Oh. Oh. Y'all saying y'all want the world's best Minecraft player. That's what y'all saying. Oh. Okay. I get it. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings! Too easy, coach. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings will extend their lead here just before halftime. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So time it up for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. Yeah, that I certainly messed up my kick. They have it up to the 35-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense no. set to go. What Charles you mean? No, I'm the world's best. Adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there for Philly. 49 yards. Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. He'll buy some time right. And he's left. Your pirate ship sank. That's because you don't have me on board. Is the over, game fun then? Get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time. But the connection couldn't be made on that throw. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. Touchdown! George Kettle, an 11-yard 
touchdown. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. 60 yards rushing for him now to this point. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Off the play fake, Cousins. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Cameron Hayward drops it for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Cousins to throw for it on four. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off for the first down. Well, it all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on four. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there, making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure. Woo! And to the what a stiff arm. Going out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away and he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes Mike Hughes came crashing in that time got the sack this is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen but somehow they're still behind in the game I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead thus far it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance. This freaking game is so lag. This dude has booty in it. This time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Cousins. Dang, what a catch. down inside the 20. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. You know, this dude's probably thinking, like, how did he catch that? Ford Field. Great. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They go play action. Cousins. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown in the afternoon. And the Vikings are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Now Prater to add the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. 
Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now a play fake. Here's Tagovailoa. This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. From Viking territory now. They'll come up first and 10 at the 34. On play action. Here's Tua. Man open downfield. Wow. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DK Metcalf, 34 yards. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation. With your My man Alvin Kamara is shredding his so defense. We are not going to play this conservative way. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those. Gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to the two the two minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works a clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit out and run in the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Again, it's Camaro. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A give to Camaro running right. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Vikings had six to their lead. 
We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. This is first and ten. Tua. He's going to let it fly. Pick. And this is intercepted. Ooh. And that should do it. Daxton Hill picks it off. And the return this time. Game over. Quit the game.